Bladder leaks explained. Is it stress incontinence or urge incontinence? After you give birth, you might leak pee. And I'm here to tell you that you can fix this. And one way to understand why bladder leaks are happening is to understand the two main types of incontinence and what causes them. So in this video, we'll walk through the difference between stress incontinence and urge incontinence to get a better understanding of what's happening down there and what you can do about it. Urge incontinence is more common generally in women than stress incontinence, but stress incontinence is more common in women who have had children. Now let's start with urge incontinence, which is a sudden and pressing need to pee, which leads to involuntary leaks. This is caused by the bladder contracting when it shouldn't. So urine leaks through the muscles that hold your bladder closed. Normally you're in control of your bladder muscles, so you choose when you open them up to pee. But in urge incontinence, the muscles in your bladder walls start squeezing or contracting on their own, which tells your brain to release the urine in your bladder, even though the bladder is not full. So because urge incontinence can happen even when your bladder is not full, you can leak without even noticing. And this is why it's helpful to maybe wear an incontinence pad to catch these leaks for now, just in case they happen. Now, period pads are not good enough to catch bladder leaks as they're built differently. And I've made a video that explains why incontinence pads are definitely what you need to use to be comfortable and more confident. To avoid urge incontinence, you want to strengthen your pelvic muscles with 12 minute daily exercises like those you find in Mutu. You can try a free trial with the link in the video description below. You might find it helpful to start a bladder diary where you keep track of how often you get these bladder leaks and avoid going to the loo just in case. Try to make sure that you empty your bladder fully every time you go to the bathroom. Let's move on to stress incontinence. This is when you have a sudden pressure or strain on the bladder and your pelvic floor muscles and you feel you can't stop yourself from peeing, you just can't hold it in. Stress incontinence is more likely to happen when you're exercising, coughing, sneezing or laughing. And unlike urge incontinence, where your bladder muscles are to blame, stress incontinence is caused more by weak or damaged pelvic floor muscles. So when the pelvic floor muscles are not strong enough, they can't prevent pee from leaking out during activities like exercising or sneezing that put pressure on the bladder. So if you've recently had a baby or your babies are not babies anymore, but you're getting bladder leaks, it might be that that process, childbirth and mothering, has weakened the pelvic floor muscles. This is why for stress incontinence, you want to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles to support the bladder and the, all the organs down there, your womb, your bowels. It's a good idea to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles to prevent pelvic organ prolapse too. Also, make sure you drink enough water and eat well and try to pee only when your bladder is full. So what else is available for stress incontinence or urge incontinence? Well, we know the best thing you can do right now is to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. There are medications available for urge incontinence and sometimes surgery may be an option. If you enjoyed this video, watch the next one for eight ways to handle bladder leaks. Thank you for watching. And here's a summary of the differences between stress, incontinence and urge incontinence. So, Urge incontinence, a sudden strong urge to urinate that is difficult or impossible to control. Symptoms are feeling like you need to go to the bathroom urgently, even if your bladder is not full. How does it affect your bladder? Well, bladder muscles are contracting involuntarily. How often? This may be occurring several times a day, even when you don't feel the urge to urinate. And treatments available are bladder training and maybe medications or surgery. So stress incontinence is the leakage of urine during physical activities or exertion like coughing or sneezing or laughing. The pelvic floor muscles are not strong enough to hold urine in during physical activity or exertion. And this may occur less frequently, but often unpredictably or taking you by surprise. Pelvic floor exercises with a focus as much on learning to relax and release your pelvic floor muscles as contracting them. There's also a link to a video explaining how to do these pelvic floor exercises correctly and an in-depth interview covering the different types of incontinence with Mutu Medical Ambassador and urology consultant, Dr. Jay Seth. Thanks for watching. <laughs>